Hi guys, it's Vicky from Newbie and Me and today I'm in Cybex HQ. I really wanted to show you the differences between the brand new Cybex Cloud G and the current model, the Cybex Cloud T. So the, I know we're going to have so many questions on this, so I'm going to give you a full demo on both. Starting with the Cloud G, the reason that this is coming out is because it's a part of the gold range. So that means it's going to be compatible with different push chairs, um, more of a mid level. And then we've got the platinum version, which is obviously the Cloud T, which is already out. But now you're going to have the option to buy either or. So a couple of different features on here. Your recline level is on the back as always, and that does recline in the car. So does the T, so if we move the hoods back so you can see how they are reclined. There is a difference on how you get them off the Isofix. So with this one, the Cloud T, you're going to spin it and then use your lever as you would normally and that one just lifts away from the frame. But with the G, you, can, you actually spin this one from the side and once it's in position, you can pull it off without pressing a button. But I'll be honest, both are really easy to do. Now, another couple of differences. So first of all, I should probably mention the Cloud T here is in the plus fabric. So that does mean that it's just a little bit more padded and it's got the air vent on the hood at the back here. So you don't get that with a standard Cloud T, but this one is the plus. So a few differences. With the G, you've got this sort of colored detailing, whereas with your T, you're gonna get it quite plain. The recline on this one, so that is at its full recline, whereas with the T, you do have that slightly extra recline when it is out of the car. So if I put them side by side like that, you can see there's a slight recline difference in the T compared to the G. Both of them have the linear side impact protection. On the G, it's built in, whereas on the T, it actually pulls out and you can pop that one away as well. Both of them have the headrest height adjustment. So if I put this back up to seated, you'll probably be able to see it a little bit better. So all you do is pull the lever and pull it up. This brings the harness up so you don't need to re-thread and obviously brings the headrest up as well. And the Cloud T is identical in the way that that works as well. Both super easy. A really good thing about both of these is that they actually go up to around 24 months. So this is one of the largest infant carriers that we actually sell. A difference with the G is that it's actually airline approved. So that means that you could take this one on an aircraft with you, whereas the T isn't. Um, and the other difference really, I would say, is the fact that this one is slightly lighter in weight than the T. Not massively, it's just got that slight little bit of a lighter feel to it. The last thing I wanted to mention was that both of them can be seat belted. You don't need to use the Isofix base, but with the G, you can actually seat belt this one when it's in the recline position, whereas the T would require the Isofix base to use it recline in the car. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give us a like and a follow. Thank you for watching.